Hi everyone, back here again for another video. I have used quite a few different mice, so I thought of sharing with you guys how I think these mice work with an iPad. Though I think we can use the iPad without a mouse because of the touchscreen, I hope this video helps you in case you're looking for a mouse to use with your iPad when you work or study. I will be talking about here these four mice, the Magic Mouse, the Pebble Mouse, the Rapu MT550, and the Logitech M585. And I'll be covering here different categories and give you guys my opinion which of this is my choice for each category. I put the timestamps in the description box so feel free to jump into the category you're interested in. First, how good it is to actually use the mouse with the iPad. If you want to see how to connect this mice to the iPad, I made dedicated videos on each of these, so I've linked those in the description box below. But in terms of connection stability, I have never really experienced any issues where the mouse disconnects while I use the mouse. Although, I had experienced that with the Logitech M585, it disconnects but only when I use it on my Windows laptop. So, for this category, I can say all of these mice have stable connections when using with the iPad. Now, in terms of the clicks and scrolling, again, all are okay and I don't experience any lag or slowness or any issues. I noticed the M585 and the Rapu are really similar. It has the same clicky feel, which is quite hard to describe, so hope this click sound test will help you. Next, the Logitech Pebble Mouse is a silent mouse, so well, it's silent. I barely hear the clicks, but the scroll wheel is unfortunately not as silent as I want it to be. But since this has silent clicks, I find my hands like it because I don't have to exert much effort. It's very easy and light on the finger. Anyway, here are some click sounds, that is if you can hear it, but you will surely hear the scroll wheel. Last is the Magic Mouse, which is different among all these mice as the clicks are not the same to any of this. It definitely has the loudest click among all these mice. But even if it's in one piece of glass, it has the left and right clicks. And there's more magic that I really love about the Magic Mouse, and that is the scrolling. So we move to our next category, which is scrolling, and I can say right off the bat, it's really the Magic Mouse that wins this category. Here's how the scrolling is on the Magic Mouse. You see here how much control I have when scrolling. I can scroll and stop and it will follow. There's no jittery moves or skipping of lines that I will show you in, later on with the other mice. And the gestures like swiping from the left to right to take me to previous web page or even the multitasking gestures for me personally, it is very intuitive and easy to remember, like it's just natural to use. Oh, and I can also easily do horizontal scrolling with the Magic Mouse. As for the other mice, I mentioned earlier that scrolling is always not smooth for any of these Bluetooth mice. 
this is how the scrolling is on each of the mice and I will show you here the ranking from the good to the worst and good not the best because for me there's no best mouse out of these three it's just good it is very close though between the Logitech M585 and the Pebble Mouse I like the soft scroll wheel on the M585 um, and depends on what app I'm using the scroll can be okay like here in Google Docs it looks like here that it's scrolling normally and perfectly fine but when I move to Safari when I browse some web pages it's okay but sometimes I noticed it's a bit out of control and it skips a lot of lines or it somehow jitters when it, when scrolling As for the Pebble Mouse, the scroll wheel is more stiff compared to the M585 and so it's scrolling a bit slower or I need to put more effort to scroll. And it also has that bit of uncontrolled scrolling where it looks like it's pausing or it's skipping several lines. As for the Rapu MT550, I don't know why the scrolling is, is like this really. As I showed in the clips earlier, the clicks are okay, but the scrolling on the iPad is not really good. It is definitely not smooth as you can see here, and sometimes it's very slow to respond to the scroll I want to do. Take note though, this is not happening when I use this Rapu mouse on my Windows laptop. It scrolls okay and not at all like this. next category I would like to cover is about the customizations I can do on the mouse. For all these mice, I can do customizations, but I have to turn on assistive touch. I can customize the buttons by going into devices, which is under assistive touch. And here I can see the connected devices. And as we see here for the Rapu MT550, there are five buttons that can be customized. Well, for me, it's really only three because I wouldn't want to use the left and right click for something else. But if you want to change it, you can. And basically, it is the same for the Logitech M585 since it has the same number of buttons as the Rapu MT550. For the Pebble Mouse, it shows there are three customizable buttons. But again, for me, it's only one that I can really customize because, again, I use the left and right clicks as it is. I don't want to use it for something else. And the last is the Magic Mouse which basically has no customizations for me because I don't want, again, to change the left and right click. But then again, I don't need any customizations because of the mouse gestures. So anyway, in terms of customization, we can definitely do so much more on the Rapu MT550 and the Logitech M585. Last category I want to cover is the price, as this is something I also consider when purchasing. Here are the prices of each of the mouse. The Magic Mouse is the most expensive at $79, while the Pebble Mouse is between $25 to $30, depends on where you buy it. The Rapu MT550 is at $29 in Amazon, while the Logitech M585 is $35 in Logitech's website, but in Amazon, I think you can maybe get it at around $28 to $30. If I have to pick the mouse that's bang for my buck, I'd pick the Logitech M585. It's cheap, but I like the semi-ergonomic form. I like that it has the vertical scrolling and the customizable buttons, and I can use it in different operating system. Plus, the clicks and scrolling are, well, it's okay. It's not that bad. 
I would have picked the Rapu MT550, but the scrolling with the scroll wheel is a deal breaker for me. But I will repeat, there's no problem in scrolling when I use it on my Windows laptop. As for the Pebble mouse, there's nothing much to say. It's a simple mouse, both in design and function. And the Magic Mouse, it is the most expensive and I cannot recommend this if you're like me, you use an iPad and a Windows laptop at work, you won't be able to maximize the magical features of the Magic Mouse. It can only work well on my iPad and it works really good, but using it on the iPad only is really an expensive mouse to get. With its expensive price tag, it might be better to get a Logitech MX Master 3, for example, that can be used to multiple devices and operating system if that's what you're after. So hope this video helps you get more idea on this different mice and can help you decide if you're trying to decide which one to get. And that's it. Thanks for watching.